I mean, am I supposed to cry? No. I mean, everywhere I turn, there's something being shoved in my face trying to tell me who I'm supposed to be, what I'm supposed to be doing, how far I'm supposed to go. I mean, it's telling all of us what we're supposed to be and do. I mean, it's exhausting. I mean, if you actually try to fit into that mold of what you think you're supposed to be, and you realize you actually just don't fit, it doesn't work, it's not what you're supposed to be, but you still try because it seems as if everything would just be easy after that. You found your place, your spot in the world. I don't know, I mean, it's, I think too much already, right? I mean, the way I look at it is I'm extremely observant, and I just intend to think about things backwards through forwards, and then there becomes actually no middle because the thing that's in between is just kind of being pushed or pulled between the two things. I mean, it's tension within oneself, right? That's the right way to look at it. It's never really a certain thing. And, you know, my, my father was, or is, a, a great man with, with big fantasies and dreams, but, I mean, he just never has taken any action for whatever reason, you know, and sometimes I think he's just given up on it all. And then I hear him talk about something he's really fired up about. And all the worry and hope for him comes. It's still there. I still wish the best for him. I just don't know if if I have any more hope left, you know. Just kind of feel sorry for him. And what scares me most is when I'm looking at him, I sometimes see myself in the future, and I've never wanted to be my father. I mean, that sounds pretty bad, but I, I don't know, you know? I mean, why lie about it? I've never wanted to be my father. Lies can be fun, you know, because you, at least you know it's a lie, right? I mean, and it's easier to hit a lie than it is to hit the truth. And, truth hurts. And then all of a sudden you don't know what's true and what's a lie and it all hurts. I don't want to be some man who had great dreams but never did anything about it because he was too scared. Didn't have the endurance. Didn't know how to adapt fast enough. And yet I still find myself sitting here talking about it out loud, and I feel like I've heard this 5, 10, 15 years ago, and I'm still saying the same thing, and I don't know why. I just feel lost. I don't know if I quite have the right shape puzzle pieces to be a part of this. And I know, I know, the other end of it is you say, well, you make it what it's supposed to be for you. You make it yours. And yet, you just want to connect with someone. You just want to fit. You just want to feel good for, for a moment, even if it feels wrong. And you know you shouldn't stay in that position too long, because it's going to hurt eventually. But just for a moment. One moment to feel like you belong into something. But you realize you cause more people pain because you keep trying to fit in and you just don't. And they wish that you did, maybe, but they also realize that if you don't fit, you don't fit. You might as well go. I mean, am I supposed to cry? Supposed to walk out of the door with my head held high, smile, look confident, say that I feel great. Supposed to brave the cold. 